Okay guys, today this is the first flip video for our 5th grade math class. This will be for uh, Tuesday night's homework. We'll actually go over this on Wednesday. We're talking about division of whole numbers. And this is a little trick that I teach my kids to say that you can say in your head to help make sure you go through all the steps on division. You just remember all my students can divide. We're going to transfer the first letter of each one of those words into a task that you're going to do every time you divide. So the A for all stands for ask, the M and Y stands for multiply, the S in students stands for subtract, the C is for check, which is a very important step that sometimes we forget, the D is for drop, and the arrow just points to go all the way back up once you've done those steps until you complete the problem. I'm going to show you how you know when you're finished. We're going to take the practice problem over here. We have 402 divided by 37. I'm going to go to the first step, ask. I'm going to ask myself, how many times will 37 go into 4? Or how many groups of 37 can I make if I only have 4? Well, I can't make any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little X right above that 4 because when I'm finished, I want to have a number above every single digit in this problem. So now I'm going to go back and ask again. How many times will 37 go into 40? Well, it will go in there one time. I've done the asking, now I'm going to multiply. 37 times 1 is 37. All right. Now I'm to the subtract part. 40 minus 37 is 3. This is the important part to check. I'm going to check and see, is, 37, is 3 less than 37? If the answer is yes, if it is less, then I can go on to the next step. But if I get a number here that's bigger than what I'm trying to divide by, I've made a mistake here and I need to go back and redo. I can probably get one more group of the number that I'm dividing by. So I've checked, 3 is less than 37, so now I can drop. And I can drop this to right down. And that brings me right back up to the top because I still have an empty spot here. I don't have anything above here. I'm going to go back to ask. Ask myself. How many groups of 37 can I make if I have 32? Well, I can't make any. So that's going to be a zero. And then I go back to multiply. 37 times zero is zero. Subtract. I'm going to check, is 32 less than 37? Yes, it is. There's nothing left to drop down. Now, for right now, a remainder is okay. Later on, we'll work with decimals and fractions. But for now, it's okay to say, remainder 32. And the best way to check this when you're finished is to reverse and just multiply 37 times 10. And you get 370 and then add this remainder back into it. And if you get what you started with, you know your problem is right, you've double checked your work, and everything is good. So just remember, all my students can divide, and remember that ask, multiply, subtract, check, and drop. Go through each one of those steps, make sure you have something above every digit in the problem and you should be good. Now I've got two practice problems for you to try out. It's not how it works, it's practice. Uh, if you want to get better at this, you have to practice. It's just like sports or musical instruments. Whatever you do in your spare time, you have to practice. Homework, practice problems, same type of thing. So I've got two problems for you. If you have time, I want you to try them out and have them for Wednesday morning, the 8th of August. And we'll see how it goes. I'm going to pan down the ca camera and let you see them. Okay, the first practice problem is 816 divided by 26. And then the second problem is 3,043 divided by 13. If you want to, try those out. When you get to class on Wednesday morning, I'll post the answers. We'll check them out. 
and make sure everything is good. Good luck, guys.